Hello, four-eyed piper coming at you. It's a beautiful day today. It is warm, and by warm I mean 35 degrees, which means no coat for old Zach. And uh, I'm feeling okay today. Yesterday was not a good day. Today, feeling a little bit better. I got a little bit uh, more wind in my sails here. Uh, not feeling so much pain. Uh, so I'm out here enjoying a pipe. And uh, you'll notice I'm smoking a falcon pipe, which uh, is unusual for me. I don't usually smoke this, but I love this pipe. It is probably the best smoking pipe um, that I have in my collection, I'll be honest with you. I've never had a bad smoke through this, and you can put anything in it. What am I smoking? Well, I've got a the next sample in line um, that I needed to get to, and it is some Peter Heinrich 169. Um, and it's from my man, Johnny, the old dirty piper. Thank you, my friend. Uh, this is back from November and I still have not gotten around to smoking it yet, but I will tell you one thing. This is delicious, man. Absolutely delicious. And as you guys know, I don't do any research on blends, uh, that I get as samples. I just smoke them first, uh, get a good impression of it. See, uh, kind of what my palate picks up. Uh, see if I enjoy it, and then uh, if I want to dive in further, I will. But uh, I like to go into it pretty fresh, uh, with no preconceived notions about the blend. Mm. I love this pipe. Uh, it smokes so dry and so cool. Uh, you get such good flavor out of it. If you don't have a Falcon, these things are cheap, man. I got this as a gift, but I'll tell you what, I was looking online. Uh, you can get them for like 60 bucks. 60 bucks is nothing. Uh, and then you can get interchangeable bowls. So you have a ton of different pipes and the bowls are maybe, I don't know, 25, 30 bucks, something like that. I haven't gotten any more bowls for this yet. Uh, I've been holding off. Other things obviously have uh, been more important to purchase than bowls for the Falcon, but uh, I'd love to get a Meerschaum bowl for this, or uh, maybe some different shape bowls, you know, a Bulldog, anything like that. Um, very cool. Hey, I'll tell you what, if you have a Falcon that you're not using, and you have some different bowls, let me know. I'd love to do a trade with you, or, um, or buy them from you. Just let me know. This is awesome. This is a really good blend. Drink a little coffee too. And man, what a beautiful day it is. A um, couple things I wanted to share. A uh, few projects that I'm going to be working on here. So I've got a pipe that I'm going to be carving very shortly. I've got some tampers I'm going to be doing. Uh, I've also got a pipe to restore, which is a Savinelli Hercules from are roughly around 65, 70, somewhere in there, that I got in a trade from Steve. Thank you, Steve. Beautiful pipe. I'm, uh, I think I got the better end of the deal on that one, so thank you. Um, I'm also going to be doing some, some more videos uh, over the course of today and tomorrow um, regarding my kit and some of the things that I'm using right now to maintain my pipes and to restore pipes. I've had a couple of folks asking about that, um, and it's going to be somewhat similar to some of the other presenters out there, and if you're looking for somebody who's an expert pipe restorer, uh, go and check out Eric the Blue Collar Piper's uh, Pipe Smokers uh, channel, because he is much more <laughs> of an expert than I am. I am just getting started. so. Uh, he's got some great videos out there about uh, how to restore pipe and then also road glide Sully fantastic he's he's got a wealth of knowledge and uh, uh, great channel man he's he's so funny uh, definitely a great guy and 
Uh, we've been going back and forth a little bit on lives and stuff like that. Just a nice guy, has a ton of knowledge. So. <laughs> I'm getting bored being here at home, <laughs> I'll have to say. Um, just, uh, it's just slow. I'm not used to being idle. I'm really not. I'm used to being on my feet walking, you know, up to 10 miles a day. Seriously. So I'm pacing around the house. I'm trying to find little projects to do. I can't do a ton with lifting and all that stuff right now. Obviously, with the back issues and stuff, I've got a um, <clears throat> consult on Tuesday with a neurosurgeon which uh, it, it seems like that's the way it's going to head, but that's okay. That's all right. I'll keep myself busy. Uh, YouTube uh, is going to be a piece of it, and uh, I'm having a lot of fun doing it, so that's, that's fine. Maybe I needed a little reset and a little break uh, in life. I don't know. That's good, guys. That is so good. This is the first Peter Heinrich blend that I've ever had. Man. Uh, I also wanted to show you guys, uh, I went to, well, to preface, we live in a very small town. Um, not much goes on here. There's really not much here. There's no tobacconist, obviously. There's no, there's really no uh, antique places to go to except for one that's all right. Um, but we were driving around yesterday, and uh, I saw a sign for a pop-up flea market, which I was confused because where would you even put that? Uh, but we found out after doing a little driving uh, that they had taken over an ab abandoned building. Not run down abandoned, but one that a business no longer was in. And uh, uh, had set up a flea market for the day, which was cool. So I got excited. I thought maybe I'd go in there and find some pipes um, or some paraphernalia, but uh, I did not find any pipes. I did, however, find a couple of really cool antique tins that I wanted to share with you. Uh, this one, which is pretty cool looking. I love it. I love it. Both sides are a little different. The gold is really cool on that. So I thought that was cool. Flying Dutchman. One you don't hear about and then look at this one that's awesome this is my favorite Edgeworth I've never had any kind of uh, any of these blends before uh, but I thought that was a really cool tin and then you open the sucker up and on the inside has all this really cool stuff so I thought that was neat and uh, you know I can kind of clean them a little bit if I need to and I can store my tampers and softy bits and maybe some lighters or whatever in them uh, but I thought those were pretty cool I got them for got them for three dollars so uh, kind of neat anyway that's all I've got for you for right now I don't want to make this super long I've been making long videos lately and uh, uh, I think people are kind of tuning out a little bit um, but I will be back later with some more videos and uh, and some updates on some projects all right guys good to see you we'll check you later